Hi, I'm George, and in this video I'll be showing you how to apply Photoshop Elements Effects and also how to experiment with them very easily. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also make sure you click on share and subscribe as well if you haven't already done so. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. All right, we're here inside of Photoshop Elements, and I have a picture to open up in the main window, as you can see. And on the right-hand side, I have the effects. And they're right down here, bottom right-hand corner, right next to the Layers button. There they are. There are a lot of effects in here. Faded photo, glow, monotone, color, painting panel, seasons, textures, vintage. Now, a lot of people will try these effects once or twice and then give up because they're kind of confusing. If you click on one, it does something. There's a black and white center. Click over here. You know, it's kind of black and white on the right-hand side. Click over to this next one, and it doesn't look like anything is happening now at this point. So I'll just go ahead and stop that. So there's the problem with these. It's kind of confusing how they work. Now, I can explain to you how these work and also how to get around that problem very quickly and easily by going up here to the Window menu and coming down and opening up the History right here. Now, the History shows you a list of the steps that you just performed, and we can quickly see what's happening in here. That's that these are being applied sequentially. As you apply one and on to the next, it applies the next one. And it's adding them all up together. So you're combining more and more effects if you click through all of these things. So what you need to do is to remove effects before you try your next one. Two ways to do that. One, of course, is to go up here to Edit and Undo or use the Control-Z keyboard shortcut. I'll do it right here, Control-Z keyboard. And undoes that effect. If you want to actually see what's going on, it's easier just to use the history panel right here. Just click where it says open. It takes you right back to your beginning history state. All these are now basically hidden. If I choose something else, it's going to apply that and not apply anything else. Back here at the beginning here. Let's double click. There it is. So it's very easy to go back and forth this way and try different effects without any problem. All you have to do is just go back and forth and click on open. It takes you back to your original state. Let's say you had another layer in here. Let's go ahead and do that one. I frequently will be doing this. So I'll make a new layer. So right click, layer from background. Maybe I've done some work on my duplicate layer, which is right there now. There's a duplicate layer. Maybe I have removed the person and removed the background from the person. And I'm changing the background down here to something different. Whatever it is, I have two layers in here. You can see I now have two layers right here. That's fine. Let's go back to our effects. If I apply an effect onto that layer, notice how it comes down here. But the last step I did was duplicate layer. So I'll go back to that step and that makes everything okay. I can get rid of that layer by going back to open, but I want to be going in this case back to the duplicate layer instead. So there's a desaturate. Back to that layer again. Here's a desaturate green. It's kind of the background stuff. Back to that layer again. Just click on it once. It takes you back to that layer. Okay, now that we know how to actually easily use the effects, it's now a lot of fun to go through and see what's in here. Some different glow effects. This one's quite popular. It's the bloom effect, otherwise known as the Orton effect. Kind of interesting, kind of a, a nice selfie effect in here. Again, if you want to get rid of that effect, just go back up one step and it removes that effect. So this allows you to easily go through and do a lot of experimentation and see what all these effects do for you without having all kinds of complications or without trying to come in here and trying to apply a few effects and getting things just really messed up like that. If you do this, if you apply too many, just go back to the last layer that you wanted to be on the last step. In this case, that was a duplicate layer step right there. Has some monochrome effects in here. There's a blue tint. Again, back to our duplicate layer. Some different painting effects in here. Some of these may take just a little bit of time to apply the effect like that one did. It says oil painting. I don't really buy that one. I don't really like that effect, but there it is. Different panel effects. Breaks your image up into panels like that. And then come down different seasonal looks. Here's kind of a spring look. Go back and make sure we're on one layer. There it is. Okay, back to our effects. Have a spring look right there. That's all right. Different textures. 
these are kind of random looking effects in here. And here's this kind of a, a very strange effect. This does a couple of things. Does a merge layer. You can see it right down here. There it is. Did a lot of steps on that all as just one combined step. Kind of an action actually. But you can still back up again to your last regular layer. And then some vintage effects as well. Here's kind of a pencil drawing effect. So there it is. That's how to work with these effects. And the real trick to using these well is to have that history panel open up so it's easy to go back and experiment with your different effects right there. Okay, so that's how to use the effects inside of Photoshop Elements. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. And take a look at my complete training course right down there in the description. It's the best way to learn how to use Photoshop Elements. Okay, and I'll see you next time.